Let's go! Guys, this is a very urgent video. Right now, we just had a death cross on Bitcoin. I posted this on Twitter one minute ago. There's a lot of people who are asking, what is a death cross? Well, I'm going to explain it to you and I'm going to explain why this is important. So if you're holding Bitcoin right now, you need to watch this video. Also, we're talking about Ethereum because we also have this pattern right now, which I also told you about on Twitter. And are we going to break down here? Be very careful with Ethereum right now. I'm going to give you an update on that as this is happening right now. Guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the content. But if you enjoy me coming to you urgently with these videos, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon right now. And with that said, Let's jump straight into the meat of this video, which is the death cross. So the death cross is something that a lot of Bitcoin traders and even traders that are not trading Bitcoin, but traditional markets are paying close attention to. In fact, if you just Google death cross Bitcoin or death cross, whatever, you're going to get a lot of data. And so you can see that we had a death cross. This article from Coindesk is all the way from March of 2020. And you can see that there was a lot of hype regarding the death cross back then. And then you can just scroll down and see that, yes, people are really paying attention to this. But what the death cross actually is, is basically the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average crossing. And what you get is either a death cross, which is a bearish sign or a golden cross when they cross to the upside. So basically it is the 200 four hour period moving average is the green line and the red line is the four hour 50 period moving average. So what is a moving average? It takes the price action, everything that is happening and it just averages out based on the price previously, basically. So it just gives you a clue as to di the direction of, of Bitcoin or whatever stock, whatever you're watching. And so you have the 50 up here, you have the 200 up here. Now the 200 is obviously going to uh, move slower. I mean, it's not going to swing as dramatically as the 50 because the 50 only accounts for the 50 candles prior to it, while the 200 accounts for the uh, 200 candles prior to it. So it's a bit technical, but here's what you need to pay attention to. Right now, the 200 is about to cross the 50, meaning that we are going to have a trend reversal here, according to the technical pattern. And uh, guys, is this mumbo jumbo? Should we pay attention to this? Well, the best way to pay attention to this and uh, know if we should consider this as something important to watch is by looking at the results previously. So if we go back in time and we look at the prior time in which we had that cross, we had that cross actually in August of 2020. So you can see that we had the cross right here. The 200, the green, went above the 50 and crossed it right here on the four hourly chart. And what's interesting is that we actually had a small pump here. We pumped, what was that, 5%. But then you saw that immediate drop by 20% right here. And this was not anything major in particular going on here as far as I remember anyway. This was in the middle of the whole DeFi hype summer. So yeah, that's what you got. And then if we continue, we go to the second last time we had that cross. It was actually right here in June of 2020. And so we had a similar event unfolding. You had a pump by 4% and then you had that drop by 10%. And then we had, you know, consolidation right here. But let's continue. Let's see if we can see it one more time here. So right here in the 26th of February, we had that death cross right here as well. And we dropped. And look at this, guys. This is going to shock you. I mean, we dropped 60%. But remember, this was the Corona dump. And I consider this a major black swan event. So I'm not going to scare you. I'm just showing you what has happened previously and why people are paying attention to the death cross right now so that you can be prepared for whatever. I mean, I'm not saying that we are going to have a catastrophic event, but if a lot of people are paying attention to this right now, I think that you should definitely have that information as well. As for my own trades, what am I doing myself? Well, I still think that the $30,000 level is going to hold, but the longer we stay here, I mean, we are eventually going to run out of steam, but for now, the $30,000 level, I expect it to hold. In fact, when we went down yesterday, we had that big drop. I said that $30,000, 
is going to hold. That is what I am expecting. We didn't go that low. We actually went to 30,800. So we almost got down to that vicinity. But uh, yeah, as long as we are within this area, I mean, the longer we are here without making a significant push higher, remember what I've been saying, as long as we are between these brown boxes, everything is fine. I do not see us going into a uh, bearish trend. But if we come down here below $30,000 and start to consolidate, I could see us consolidating for a while and actually see us going down quite a bit before we eventually have that big pump. Because you know, I think that we are in a double pump kind of market right now. In this cycle, I think that we are going to have a double pump. We are going to have the initial pump, which we have uh, already had. Then we are going to have a correction in which we perhaps have already bought them in at, at $30,000. Perhaps we are going to go lower. But anyway, we are eventually going to have that second big pump all according to what I am expecting here when you look at previous cycles. So let me show you. You have this pump. You have this uh, actually pretty significant drop right now when you look at it right, like this. And I think that rather than this thing right here, we are going to have something like we saw in 2013. Not this dramatic. But we are going to go up, we are going to go down, consolidate, and then have another second major push to the upside. That's what I'm anticipating. We will see how things plays out. But if there is one thing we can be sure of, it is that we are about to have something major happening. Because you cannot have this triangle go on forever. We are going to break out uh, either to the upside or to the downside eventually. And this is going to be a very exciting move for all the people who thinks that Bitcoin is boring right now, <laughs> you are about to see something big happen. Now, is it going to happen within the next couple of days? Is it going to take a week? We will see, but we are about to see it. And considering that we had that death cross, which traditionally signals that we are going to go down in price, we might see this start to break down to the downside. But how does that affect my levels right here at $30,000? Well, Let's say we have a significant drop and we just bounce off, let's say this level at 26,480 and then we just have a wick, we come up again and start to consolidate here. This would actually be ideal and uh, it doesn't change the bullish structure. But here's the thing, if we go down and we break down here and we start to consolidate below here, you know the drill, I've been saying this for so long, then I anticipate us going down lower and yeah, actually spend a lot of time below this level. So this is what everyone should be prepared of right now, guys. But all in all, just like I showed you yesterday, Bitcoin is bullish long term. It's going to go up in price. So I would not sell the huddle position right now when it comes to trading. That is completely different, which brings me to my trade right here. What am I going to do? Well, if we obviously go to the upside, that's fine. But if we go down here and we start to consolidate like this scenario I told you about here below $30,000, I'm going to identify levels in which to buy at and then play off the bounces and exit this position at a profit in case I think that we are going to consolidate for quite a bit. Because yes, that is how you do it. You do not want to pay the funding. You can see I already paid $680 in funding. And so that's the way I'm playing it. Still long-term bullish on Bitcoin. Obviously, I'm dedicating my life to Bitcoin. But here's the thing. This position is not going to be closed at a loss. I'm going to show you exactly how I am going to do it if we actually start to play that scenario and consolidate down below at these levels. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to play this. So let's quickly talk about Ethereum. So yes, it seems like we are breaking down from this level on Ethereum as well. And so what is the measured move target here? Well, I mean, this is not a super pretty uh, asymmetrical triangle, but I mean, you could take the width of, of this uh, structure right here. And the target in that case would be around $1,000 uh, on Ethereum. And here's the thing. If you go to this level right here, you got the support level at $1,200. You got support at $1,160 support level. And this is stronger support than the prior ones here. This is at 1,118. And then you got the big one down here at 900. Well, call it 1,000 all the way down to 880. And I'm going to be loading up here, guys. If Ethereum reaches this level, I am going to load 
up the truck. I'm just going to tell you that. And also, what is my next trade going to be, guys? My next trade, I'm going to share it right now. But first off, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like right now. Why not? And if you are not yet signed up to Bybit and you want to get this insane $1,150 bonus for free, there's still a couple of days left. You sign up using this link, you use the code jackpot in the rewards hub, you deposit any of these amounts and you get these uh, amounts to be able to trade with there. So yes, definitely make sure to do that if you want to begin trading, but make sure also to watch my trading tutorial popping up at the end of this video. Now, let's continue. So, what is my next trade going to be on Bitcoin? Well, this is going to be my next trade. It's only going to be on the upside, guys. I'm not going to short Bitcoin here because, as I said, I expect this to be strong support. It's just not that kind of environment I want to short Bitcoin at. But if we come up here, I'm going to make a breakout trade, meaning that I put a small order as we get above this and I put the stop loss down here. Okay, I want to put the stop loss below this level. So if we go up here, so it's a pretty wide stop loss, I'm aware of that, but if we go up here and then we make a retest and then we break that level, whichever level we have when we make that initial breakout, I put an even bigger bet right here and then I ride it to the upside. So let us talk about that again. We break out at this level, I'm going to put in a trade and then I watch it go down, I watch it get to this level again, to the, uh, well, resistance line right here now, support. Retest of this, and as we go up, we break the previous high. So let's say on the breakout that we are going to get to this level, and yeah, in that case, I am going to load up more if we actually break this level. So we take out the prior high, with wherever it's going to be on that initial breakout. It's not going to be this high probably, it may probably be more like at this level perhaps, and then we come down and then we take out this high, and that is when I really load up. Still having the stop loss down here, and then riding it to the upside, taking profits along the way, but I am going to update you on that, guys. Should we not actually break out on the upside here, we just go down, well, then the second scenario is going to play out in which I am going to exit this at a profit, and I'm going to show you exactly how I intend to do that. So guys, I want to show you something else. Remember my altcoin video I did in November, and my pick, my number one pick for November was Alpha Finance, and look at the price here. This was by the end of, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was basically leading into November. My pick of Alpha Finance was at three cents. And I just saw that this has gone up to $1.5, completely insane. This is almost a 50X in, what is, what is that, two months. Almost a 50X in two months, completely insane. If you put in $1,000 based on this video, you would have $50,000 today. You put in $10,000 you would have $500,000, half a million, by just getting into this coin. So as you know, I am still making altcoin videos on the Bitcoin News Today channel. Our altcoin picks, they are killing it. So I've got the link down in the description if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, guys. A lot of people gave me credit for the video yesterday. A lot of people were interested in the NUPL, the Net Unrealized Profit and Loss. And of course, guys, when we get into the blue vicinity here, I'm going to keep you updated. But the update I got right now is that the Bitcoin price is going down. And so the scenario we talked about yesterday, it actually holds more true today than yesterday. Because yes, we're seeing the uh, price or no, not the price. Yeah, we're seeing the price also. But the NUPL index is also going down. Just like uh, we anticipated and how we saw yesterday that we once peaked here in the prior cycle, we had a peak here, then we went down, and then we made a big push towards the blue area. And so are we going to do that to, uh, this cycle as well? Well, I am going to keep you updated on that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch the training tutorial popping up in the middle of this video right now. I will see you right there.